Grails provides a pretty good way to count records by default, and that's with the counter cache option. However, this is a pretty basic implementation and it's really meant to count direct associations. Things can get a bit more complicated. So for example, we have some group and members, and this is a many to many relationship where you have many users and many groups and users can belong to the group through the members. And then we have a more basic example where we have a product belongs to a category and the category has many products. So we can see a product count in each category. However, one additional thing that we're going to look at in this episode is also doing something more like a summation. So instead of doing a count of occurrences, we're going to do a sum. And to do all that, we're going to be using the counterculture gem. And one thing I like about this gem is its simplicity, meaning that it doesn't have a lot of dependencies. It works all the way back on Rails 4.2 or later, and it even works up to Rails 7.1. So we're going to look at adding that gem into this application and performing some more complex counts. And this is going to be very useful in situations where you're wanting to display a lot of information on a dashboard in a more concise manner. So this could be used to show the total number of sales. And instead of querying many records to calculate that, you could keep a running total. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.